Thank you, Madam President. I rise to appeal the ruling of the chair. The proposed amendment is germane to the bill at hand. The bill at hand deals with various labor provisions, and the amendment that I've offered establishes a statutory fixed rate of contribution from employers to the unemployment insurance fund, and it also creates a solvency fund that could draw on other states' revenues, settlement dollars, or unencumbered federal funds. This amendment would protect businesses from unemployment insurance tax increases resulting from pandemic-related job losses. Um, as we all know, in this budget, uh, and I heard some of my colleagues earlier say that the MTA is receiving more than a billion dollars to help with their recovery from the pandemic. Yet this budget fails to recognize that businesses, especially small businesses, continue to struggle post-pandemic to get back to where they were prior to COVID and prior to the state shutting them down. That in this budget, New York State is again increasing the minimum wage and that such increases will impose further costs and burdens on employers hitting small and family-owned businesses and our farmers the hardest. New York State has $33.3 billion in reserves, of which according to the Senate Majority's financial plan, $14.8 billion are discretionary, uncommitted reserves. This amendment is absolutely necessary to support and ensure the continued survival of many small family-owned businesses and our family-owned farms. Specifically, the amendment I had before you would use existing reserves or surplus revenue to pay the unemployment insurance interest assessment surcharge, which is projected at $250 million for fiscal year 2024. It would use existing revenues use existing reserves or surplus revenues to pay down part of the deficit in the under unemployment insurance benefit fund, which is approximately $8 billion. And it would create a locks, a lockbox, something we've used successfully in the past, where unemployment insurance program solvency reserve fund into which 50% of surplus revenue would be deposited to pay future interest assessment charges and unemployment insurance deficits. As the economy struggles and inflation continues to soar, we need to help our small businesses. Now yesterday, during one part of the debate, my colleagues across the aisle indicated that it was time for New York to step up and prioritize innovation in our unemployment policies. I agree. And the measure that I have presented does just that. It brings stability, consistency, and reliability to the forefront for businesses across this state. I urge my colleagues to break from party lines, show your support for our farmers and businesses, and vote yes. Madam President, I strongly urge you to reconsider your ruling.